Driving in the USA, Top Tips If you've booked a fly drive USA holiday or are planning an American road trip, here's what you need to know. While it's pretty easy to get around Europe using trains, trams, buses, and other public transport, when it comes to America, driving is often a necessity. Whether you're heading down to Disneyland Florida, taking in the sights along the iconic Route 66 or Pacific Coastal Highway more UK drivers are opting for a fly drive holiday across the land of the free. Whether you're grabbing a minivan for a family statewide slog, splashing out on a convertible or muscle car or even hiring a full-sized RV or motorhome for a proper all-American camping holiday, driving in America is popular with UK holidaymakers, and the good news is, it's a lot less scary than driving in some other countries. Roads in America should be easy as pie to navigate, wide lanes, simple road layouts, low speed of traffic, and lots of signage, all of it in English. You'll need to get used to driving on the right-hand side of the road, but that's not too big an adjustment to make. You'll also need to get used to driving close up with the enormous pickup trucks and semi-trucks which frequent American highways as well as other cars and trucks that want to undertake on the highways. In fact, there's a whole different style of road behavior to get used to, but it's all part of the fun of driving in the spiritual home of the road trip. So if you are planning to travel across America behind the wheel, or simply want to spend an afternoon with a convertible Mustang on your package holiday to Florida, we prepared this simple guide. We've got the advice, tips, and checklists that all UK drivers need to know before stepping onto that USA-bound plane. Read on for our detailed guide to the documents, equipment, and road etiquette you need to drive legally and confidently in the USA. Which documents do I need to drive in the US? You'll be glad to hear that you can rent a car in the US with your UK license. The US has an agreement with the UK whereby a full and valid UK driver's license permits vehicle rental in the States, you will have to have held your license for over a year. In most cases you have to be above 21 but some companies will insist that you're 25 before handing you the keys to a rental car. A passport and visa are obvious requirements to enter the country, and will be needed to rent a car as well. Tips for renting a car in the US Wherever you will be driving, you're most likely to spend at least some of the time on the motorway. Motorways, or interstates, extend for miles without a kink in the wide open spaces of America, which is why we recommend getting a car with enough oomph to make the journey smooth and comfortable. Anything with a 2.0-liter diesel or petrol will do just fine but smaller cars that work so well on European roads might not cut the mustard. What do I need to carry in my car when driving in the USA? US laws do not necessitate reflective jackets, but your car must come with warning triangles that can be placed by the roadside. Most US states have banned using a phone while driving, but even if there are no specific laws prohibiting it, we recommend you using a hands-free system at all timers when driving. Radar detectors are also allowed in most states, though areas near military bases will have specific laws banning their use. Washington, D.C. is one of the states prohibiting the use of radar detectors, but the fixed location speed camera alerts on your SAT NAV are unlikely set the highway patrol after you. You must carry a proof of insurance and ownership of the vehicle at all times. If the vehicle is a rental, you will be provided with all the necessary documents to carry. Checklist for driving in the USA Full and valid driver's license Proof of insurance Passport slash national ID Warning triangles What is the alcohol limit for driving in the US? There is no US law that requires you to carry a breathalyzer, but the country is cracking down on drink driving. Each state has its own blood alcohol limit, and the most common level we found was 0.08%, the same as in England and Wales. US Highway Toll Fees and Petrol Prices The US has road tolls that you should be aware of. Tolls are often placed before entering cities and usually charge a standard fee. For example, entering New York will cost $14 or $9.75 during off-peak hours. 
If UK fuel prices give you nightmares you will be sleeping soundly while visiting the US. Petrol and diesel priced at around 40p per liter means you can afford to rent that big V8 muscle car for the week and not worry about turning off the aircon. Driving in the USA, insurance and breakdown cover. Since you're likely to be renting a car in the US, we suggest you spend a little extra on insurance and breakdown cover. You'll be driving on unfamiliar roads and the premiums the higher companies ask are usually quite reasonable. Driving in the USA, top tips. Watch out for undertaking. Undertaking is perhaps the biggest culture shock for UK motorists on us roads. Undertaking is not illegal, and is exercised on most motorways. Us drivers aren't particularly fond of indicating for direction change, either, which will make you watch your mirrors even more closely. Right turns at red lights. You're also allowed to turn right when a traffic light is red, provided that there is no oncoming traffic. Take your turn at the crossroads. If you come to a four-way intersection without lights, the car that arrived first has priority and then the next. This will take some getting used to, so when approaching intersection slow down and keep an eye out on who's arrived to the stop mark when.